Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedure how to create a search functionality and display records in a grid view control. And here we got the final output. Now before I enter the Ambler ID, let's check the table. In the Ambler table, I want to search the ID number 16 which is a mark. 16 search employee. And here we got the mark details. Let's check the another detail. 1 search employee and ID 1 of the employee is a channel. Suppose if I want to enter the employee ID is 3 which is not available in the employee table. So let's check the employee 3 such employee. See we got the message employee record not found. If you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET first we'll create a new stored procedure for this employee table. I have created this employee table in the sample db database. Let's create a stored procedure in this sample db. I'm scrolling down. Notice this is a programmability folder. Expanding that one. Right click the stored procedures. New stored procedure. I'm deleting this default code of the stored procedure. Create procedure. BBO dot search employee details is my stored procedure name. I'm creating a variable at id is equals to id int is equals to zero as begin select id name the next column is email and salary. Let's add those ones. Email and the last one is a salary from the table name is dbo.employee table. Copy that one and paste here where id is equals to at id. And that's it. Let's create this stored procedure. Execute. And here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's check this. Such AMP details is created in the stored procedures or not. I'm refreshing this folder. I'm expanding the stored procedures folder. Notice. And notice here the search EMP details store procedure is created under store procedures folder. Now it's time to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. Go to file new project. From the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is search store procedure sp ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty click ok and the project is successfully created let's open solution explorer I'm adding a new web form page into this project right click the project name add new item I'm selecting the web form the web form name is search data store procedure add and here we got the source page of the newly created search data sp.aspx page now in the source page between the form and due tag I'm adding center tag h1 
how to search records from database using store procedure horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding three controls open toolbox I am expanding standard folder come to the bottom text box control after that I am adding one button control open toolbox again button control I am changing the button control label to search employee horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding a grid view control open toolbox I am expanding the data folder and here we have a grid view control let's add the grid view control that's it up to now we have done the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the button control search employee and here we got the button click key match now in this code behind I am adding the namespaces of SQL Server using system.data the second namespace system.data.sql client the last one I am adding using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces let's add my database in this server explorer open the server explorer data connection so I click that one add connection after adding the server name I am selecting the database name sample db is my user database I have selected test connection is succeeded ok ok and notice here the sample db.dbo is added under data connections now we need this data source of the sample db for that right click the sample db.dbo go to properties in the properties notice the connection string the data source copy the whole thing open solution explorer open the web.config file in the web.config file inside configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source and the last one is a provider name which is a system.data.sql client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind now in the button click event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings double quotes now between these double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one and paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main connection object SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command this SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a command type which is a store procedure now between this double quotes so let's add our store procedure name our store procedure name is a search EMP details copy this one paste here and the second parameter is a connection string which is a SQL con copy this one and paste here SQL com dot command type is equals to command type dot our command type is a store procedure SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value string parameter name the add with value takes two parameters one is a string 
parameter name and the second one is the object value the first parameter name I am adding the at id comma the object value is so we are getting the object value from the text box control so let's add the text box id text box one dot text let's open the connection string sql con dot open method let's bind the data source grid view one dot data source is equals to sql com dot execute reader method grid view one dot data bind method the last final one let's close the connection string close method con dot close method that's it we have written the complete coding part let's switch to the design mode source mode in the grid view i'm adding the property empty data text yeah empty data text employ record not font If the employee details are not found, I want to display this message in the grid view control. Let's check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. Now before I enter the employee ID, let's check the table. In the employee table, I want to search the ID number 16 which is a mark 16 search employee and here we got the mark details let's check the another detail 1 search employee and ID 1 of the employee is a churn suppose if I want to enter the employee ID is 3 which is not available in the employee table so let's check the employee 3 such employee see we got the message employee record not found that's it